Halmaira, the kind of place that all divers dream about. The kind of place where you can see this and this. The kind of place where you can literally be alone, only surrounded by coconut trees. The kind of place where pelagic fish come to check at you very close up. The kind of place where a worldwide pandemic feels like a bad dream. But Almayra is as well the kind of place super remote and difficult to access. It's not just like taking a plane to go to Egypt or to the Maldives. So for divers who want to go diving there, the options are quite limited. So the question is, is diving in Almayra worth all the effort? In the first episode, we discovered the wonders of diving in Almayra, and I'm sure some of you are very excited to put them on their checklist. But how do you get there? It's not the easiest journey. First, you have to take a flight from Singapore to Manado. Arrived in Manado, you have to take a flight to Ternate and Labu Airport. From there, a car and a boat to arrive to the only dive resort of the area. The other option is to hop on a liveaboard. They generally leave from Rajampat or from North Sulawesi, but very few companies offer this itinerary and they don't go there very often. Nils and myself, we decided to go with one of the most experienced boats in this area, the KLM Sunshine. Nama saya Marwan Muhammad. Saya bekerja sebagai pelaut, bekerja di kapal. Dan sekarang saya bekerja di PT Blue Bay Divers yang melayani tour untuk diving di Halmahera. Salah satu spot yang cukup terkenal di daerah ini. Untuk trip Halmahera itu rata-rata kita setiap trip 12 hari kita start dari Sahaung mulai hitung hari pertama sehingga di Lembeh dan tujuan selanjutnya adalah ke Tipure dan pulau-pulau sekitarnya yang ada di Halmahera Selatan dan balik hitungannya sampai 12 hari kembali lagi ke Sahaung So when you're on board, it's it's you hear the sounds of the of the boat while you're going when you're crossing, right? So it's not a big cruise ship. It's actually it goes with the movements of the sea. Which you know, if you think, if you just let your imagination flow, you would almost imagine what it would be like when the you know the first Europeans came to this part of the world in their wooden boats, right? So you kind of get that feeling, which which I thought was very special. The boat itself, because it doesn't take so many guests, you have a surprising amount of space everywhere. It's a very convenient boat. I, I'm happy to spend a lot of time on it. It's one of the most experienced boats in that area. So when Anke called us that and she said that she, she has enough people, then there's no question we would like to join. I, I really like uh, sunshine in, in many respects. The main reason I like it so much is the staff. The guest to staff ratio is, uh, is quite small, so I have a very, very good contact with the staff. They feel 
like such a close team and they are always happy especially when you come back from a dive they will always be sharing you and uh, there will be a lot of energy going going around so uh, the staff is probably what makes me feel most at home KLM Sunshine adalah satu-satunya uh, liveboat yang sering melayani Halmahera dan kita tahu semua tempat yang uh, website yang bagus di sini dibandingkan liveboat uh, lainnya. Jadi kami menjamin bahwa kepuasan tamu yang ada naik di Sunshine lebih daripada kapal lain karena kita menguasai tempat-tempat yang orang lain tidak tahu website selain kita. Whatever the fish allowed, you could see corals like to the end of visibility, which I think is absolutely amazing. Ada tamu bilang karang di sini hampir sama dengan ada satu tempat yang di Raja Ampat, namanya Melissa Garden. Combination with just beautiful corals. It's nice visibility with the blue background and then you have all the fish swimming around you. That's, that was one of my favorite dives. I will never forget this feeling of thousands of tiny eyes looking at me. It was at the same time terrifying and exciting. You know, I found the walking shark, which is endemic to that area is something that, you know, it's, it's like as a scuba diver, you're seeing a species that, that doesn't exist anywhere else, which is mind-blowing. The Halmaira walking shark is a very rare bamboo shark, discovered in 2008. They are endemic to this area and cannot be found anywhere else. We had about 10-15 minutes in the beginning where the amount of fish was absolutely crazy. More than that I can not remember having ever seen. It was really just walls and walls of fish going in all directions, circling us. And that was, that was very magical. One for sure that I will never forget is uh, a very unexpected encounter with a uh, blue ringed octopus. That's not something you will get probably too many times in your life. Uh, because we had a very long, very fortunate encounter with that, uh, where it stayed around and it was showing off, showing off all its all, all its blueness, uh, and that was great. Diving in Almaera is truly amazing. From pelagic animals to tiny macro life, you have it all. The fact that it's a small boat with just a few divers and usually repeat divers and I guess my favourite one was being reunited with previous participants of the Sunshine and Blue Bay trips. Favourite moment being on the boat. I really enjoyed We had many, many times playing a, a game. We were like a few people gathering, playing a, a game called Bananagrams. We, we all really liked it and I think just the, the social gatherings around this. <laughs> It's a funny game. <laughs> oh yeah, the donuts. <laughs> yeah, the chef Mekri is dangerously good at making making donuts. Uh, he, he made them fresh on the boat with chocolate and sprinkles on, and it was yeah, just so delicious. Saya menyukai trip Almaera karena banyak uh, diferensial untuk tempat-tempat yang bisa kita kunjungi. Uh, 
variasi barang yang kita dapat dan juga masyarakat yang ada di sini juga sangat ramah dengan uh, pengunjung terutama turis yang datang ke sini itu salah satu daya tarik yang utama juga selain apa yang kita lihat di dalam air we had the opportunity to visit the village also which was a experience seeing how how they live and how self-sustained they are in this really remote place we met all the people all the kids were, were crazy about <laughs> seeing some westerners and uh, that was also a moment uh, i will never forget kami kru di sign sign uh, semua yang ada bekerja di sini uh, karena kita sering mengunjungi halmahera jadi sudah terjalin uh, komunikasi dan interaksi kita dengan penduduk lokal akan pentingnya menjaga habitat uh, kelestarian alam dan itu juga penting untuk mereka itu juga penting untuk kami karena kami selalu uh, memerlukan kelestarian alam yang akan dilindungi jadi sudah terjalin pengertian antara kami uh, perusahaan saya dan uh, orang-orang yang kita kunjungi di pulau ini untuk menjaga kelestarian uh, laut dan sekitarnya supaya laut juga bisa memberikan hasil yang bagus untuk kehidupan kita Twelve days diving and discovering this off-the-beaten track area was not enough. And I cannot wait to go back there. And the question, is diving in Almaira worth it? The answer is 100% yes. It was every single effort to get there. If you would like to have more information about diving in Almaira or the KLM Sunshine, please leave us a comment or contact us on social media. We will be more than happy to help. Next week, follow us in our new adventure. And guess what? We stopped diving. At least, we took a break. And we met some incredible new friends. So stay tuned and see you next time.